Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder and I'm with Align and today we're talking about the new APS flight stabilization system. First segment we're going to do, we're going to talk about your pitch curve and throttle curve uh, for utilizing the APS system as well as your fail safe control uh, setting both the throttle and gyro uh, fail safe. Uh, so we're going to go over that and the last thing we're going to talk about is the gyro sensitivity and the settings you need to have. You're going to need to have a three position switch so we'll go over that and the settings that you need for utilizing the GPS uh, functionality of the APS system. Uh, today we'll be using the Futaba T8J and we'll show you, I'll show up in close up detail what those settings are uh, and so we'll do that in this first segment. So let's get started here. Today utilizing the uh, T8J, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into initially your throttle curve. And on your throttle curve in normal, you want a straight linear line, 0, 50 to 100. For your idle up, for your idle up, you're going to want to have a straight line or use governor mode. So either use governor mode or a straight line. And so we'll go to our uh, our curve here. Go to an idle up. In this case, for the T Rex 500 uh, 550E, we're using 74% straight line. You want this for the uh, APS mode as well as GPS mode so that way it can maintain your head speed as well as stabilize your helicopter. So it needs to have a straight line in your idle up one or two, whichever curve you're actually using for while you're in APS mode or in GPS mode. Okay, that's, that's very important. You gotta have that set up. Straight line there. As far as pitch, I'm running a straight curve there and I'm running basically 12 to 12. That's all you really need for utilizing the APS system. You could actually run less pitch if you so choose, but that's what I have it at, it's 12 to 12. And then the next thing that's very important as far as your setup, we're gonna go to the fail safe menu. And in fail safe, you wanna go down to your throttle, the fail position, whatever radio you're using, and for the idle up position, have it in idle up, set it about mid stick, make sure you press you activate it, and then you press set for your given radio system. In this case, on the radio, it's recognizing that position as 66. So make sure you go in there on throttle, press it, press it, and make sure that it actually is recognizing that point. So that way, if you do have a fail-safe uh, incident, or you wish to induce a fail-safe incident, you can actually have throttle. Because if you have it set to zero, even though you have stabilization, if you don't have power, you're not gonna fly too well. So we're gonna go down one more point, which is very important, gyro. You, on this particular radio, we're using switch C, similar to what it says in the uh, Align manual. There's three positions. The first top one is 3GX. The second position is APS mode, which is where its flight stabilization occurs, and GPS mode, which is also referred to as the home position uh, when you want it to return home. So your helicopter, if it should fly out of range, you want the GPS or the third lowest position there on your stick to actually be your GPS position. So inside of the uh, failsafe menu here though, we want to recognize this position. So I have it down here, I'm setting that, and then I press, I press it, and I enter that position. That is my position for the GPS mode. So you want to make sure you have that because for instance, if I were to switch off, I want it to come back home, my helicopter. Or if the radio shut off or whatever, it would bring the helicopter literally to that predefined home point that we'll talk about in our next segment. So let me switch it back on real quick here. We'll switch this on and then we're gonna go to gyro sensitivity. The last thing we need to discuss. Okay, I have activated, uh, the mix is on, channel it says rudder and then we have up, center, and down. The top position is the only position it reads for the uh, gyro sensitivity. In this case, again, with the T-Rex 550E, I'm using 37% uh, AVC mode, tail locking mode, head locking mode, whatever you like to call it. This is the only setting that the actual 3GX takes as far as for gyro sensitivity. The other two settings, the center position and the down, are what the APS unit reads. So the 3GX still sees 37% even in the center or down. Even though the numbers are different, 
it only sees that top value, so don't be alarmed. The next center position I have at zero. Zero position recognizes APS mode. The next position down is the uh, GPS mode, and I have that in normal, or opposite to the AVC, as 30. Again, this is the Futaba T8J. Your radio may vary, and if you have, uh, you know, basically a spectrum or some other type of radio system other than the Futaba system, the numbers may vary. Please consult our manual, but it does show you how to do that. And again, you need to have the three position switch. Okay, well this covers the initial setup just to get started and get you flying and get you able to test the settings of the APS unit on the bench. And uh, I hope this segment helps just get you the general idea of what program is needed in your radio to start utilizing the APS. Look for our next segment on actual programming the APS and testing the uh, flight command controls on the bench before you ever take off. Again, my name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align. If you have any questions, please email me at jeff at aligncusa.com. Thank you for watching.